So when I think back to my earliest childhood, three names always pop up. Those three names are, realize my early childhood, when I was like a baby, would definitely be Thomas, the little engine, and then there was the big bear and the big blue house at Disney, another Disney, uh, And then you have Winnie the Pooh, one of the absolute most well-known stories of all time. And everyone knows about Winnie the Pooh and Christopher Robin, right? They made a live-action TV movie, and I just saw it. Hello guys, welcome to Don't Sell Hobbies. And today we are going to be reviewing, that's right, the Winnie the Pooh live action movie, also known as the Christopher Robbins movie. Oh my god. The only thing I have to say about, about this entire movie is three things. Cute, adorable, and childhood. 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 That's all I have to say about this movie. It was very adorable, very cute, and it just brings back memories from childhood. I love how they incorporated the old ideas from the old show. I when uh, I used to watch Winnie the Pooh, I was watching cartoons on the Disney Channel. I I, I don't think Disney Junior was even out yet. I think it was just like early Disney. I remember. Every single morning, for until I was like eight years old, eight nine years old. Whenever I, whenever I woke up in the morning to go to school, the my favorite thing to do was to watch Winnie the Pooh. And then, so I would turn on the TV, watch Winnie the Pooh, get dressed, eat. Um, no, actually, I would wake up, I would eat. I would get dressed and then I would head over to my grandparents' house because uh, my grandparents' house was closer to the bus stop. So, um, and my parents would want they couldn't sit there and watch me to uh, get on the bus. So, I walked over to my grandparents' house. You know, they walked me over to my grandparents' house. It was like right down the street. So, I would get to my grandparents' house and then I would turn on the TV and watch one of the And then eventually, when we did move, we moved to Oak Hills. Again, I would I would do this until I was about nine years old. I would watch Winnie the Pooh. And then the only reason why I stopped watching was because they stopped showing. I I don't know why. I don't know why they decided to stop watch stop showing Winnie the Pooh when I was a little kid. But yeah, Wayne Wayne the Pooh and his friends Avengers I don't it wasn't the exact name, was it? No, it was. I think it was just called Winnie the Pooh. Um, I used to watch. But I used to love it, and of course, the cartoon was an adaptation of the Winnie the Pooh storybooks, which I remember my dad actually buying uh, me the Winnie the Pooh book, and actually he used to read the stories to me while I was really, really little. Um, yeah, I, I think I think that book. Well, I don't know. Maybe my mom still has that book. I'm not sure. Because she, she kind of keeps everything that was special to me and my sisters. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know if she has that book. But, anyway, Wayne the Pooh, for me, it's just childhood. It's just really early childhood. Because, God, I used to love it. I used to love it. And the one thing about... The bridge and the stick, I loved how they used that, how they brought that up, and how it was, um, it, it really started off where the book, or the story, really ended, with Christopher Robin heading up to school. Um, he, can't, he came to talk to his friends, you know, Winnie the Pooh and his buddies, and everyone, even Eeyore, I guess I'm right, Eeyore? 
think it's Eeyore, Eeyore, instead of Eeyore, whatever, I'm gonna call it whatever I want, so screw that. Anyway, Eeyore, including everyone else, is pretty sad about seeing him go, but I like the little speeches, especially when, you know, it's just him talking to uh, Wayne the Pooh about always remembering him and everything else, and then that's pretty much the end of that. We kind of speed up his story. We find out that he goes to school, and then I... Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believed his father died. I think that I think that scene when he was exiting the school was not about him being in trouble to get to school. I think it was because his father died, which my heart goes out to you. You know, it's terrible to lose a parent. Um, and then of course he goes to the war. Well, actually, he meets a girl, and then goes to the war, and she's pregnant with. Of course, his daughter, and he goes to the war. He comes home, and uh, she's there. The, the baby's there. It's it's great. I don't know. It, it had to be at least six, seven years of war because he left when she was pregnant, and when he came home, the the kid was like seven years old. I was like, ooh, big time skip. Uh, that was that was just great. Really, I just love the movie. And then, of course, the rest of the movie happens. So what we have here is, I'm not going to spoil the entire movie, but we have Christopher Robin ha basically having issues in his life. So what we have here is Christopher Robin at work is, he's, he apparently works for a company, and it's kind of weird that he works for a luggage company. I can't exactly remember the name of it, I think it was called the Wilson's Luggage Company, and what he does is he builds suitcases, I mean, for God's sakes, it's a luggage, it's a luggage company, for God's sakes, um, and then what happens is he finds out that the luggage company isn't going very well, and if he doesn't find out a solution to decrease, I think it was like 20%, of the price for these luggage, of uh, luggage items, then possibly, possibly he could be the cause of like 20 people getting fired. So that's absolutely terrible. I love the fact that they're bringing real adult issues into the story and making it just very simple to understand. I think that is great. And then, of course, Christopher Robin has to deal with this, so that means he cannot go to his old cottage with his family like he was supposed to, and his daughter is really, really upset, you know? All she wants is her dad, you know? She she grew up not really having time with her dad, so... And the one chance, the technically last chance that she really has to spend time with her dad, it all gets wrecked. It all gets wrecked because his dad, uh, her dad has to work. Christopher Robin has to work. So I really, really liked that aspect of it. And then we get into, of course, what what eventually happens is I don't know how it was. It, it's magic. It's magical. But the magic calls upon Lou. I mean. Calls, calls, ah, I'm getting tongue twisted. The magic calls upon Pooh to come and help Christopher Robin out. And Pooh has lost his friend, so now Christopher Robin has to go in back to the cottage, back into uh, the Hundred Acre Woods, and find his old friends, you know? And it's basically through this entire adventure that he goes on to. I can go on and on and spoil it. I'm not really wanting to spoil the entire movie, so... But he basically goes on this entire adventure trying to get Winnie the Pooh back home. And thanks to Winnie the Pooh, he understands that along the way growing up, he's lost a little bit of his childhood, which is a very deep... 
it's a very, very deep lesson for all of us adults. I'm 21. I still have quite a bit of childhood in me, I, I'll be honest. I'm, I feel like I'm 18 and I play with fish and toys all day long. So, but for many people, and I mean many people, they lose that little bit of childhood in them. And that's just awful. And to eventually find that childhood again is just great. And Christopher Robin, after spending some time within the pool, finally understands that it's that childhoodism that he lost that is basically going to be the answer to his problems. And I'm not going to... Well, I'm not going to spoil it. You know what? Yeah, I don't want to spoil the movie. Because it is a really good movie. It is a very cute, very sweet movie. And I absolutely loved it. And I actually talked about quite a bit. Uh, real quick, the animals of Winnie the Pooh and Piglet. I don't know why they get Piglet pants for some reason, but Piglet have pants. And everyone else, they look like old fashion stuffed animals, and I actually really like the way they look. And what I really like about them, though, is that every single one except Rabbit all sounded like the old characters that I grew up with from that old cartoon I used to watch. So, fantastic work. And Ewan McGregor, fantastic actor. Yeah, so, without going into any spoilers, I loved the movie. I, this video, I said what I had to say about the movie. Loved it. It's a fantastic, adorable little movie. That That's the big word I want to say. Adorable, cute, and absolute memories of childhood back. That's all this movie really is. Let me know down in the comments below. Did you see Christopher Robin? And did you like this movie? I loved it. I loved it as, as an adult. It just, it just brought back, it just brought back feelings of being a kid again. And that's all you could really ask for. Which is just, it's just great. It's just great. You know, I know it wasn't going to be as big and as interesting as maybe uh, the Marvel movies or Star Wars or, or my anime shows. No, but this really... This really hit the feels for me. This movie hit the feels simply because it just reminds me how much I've grown and how much I still feel like a kid. And I'm very, as much as I probably shouldn't be, I'm very proud and very happy to say I still have a little bit of kid in me. And I think all of the kids who are watching this movie, the new kids are really gonna love Wayne the Pooh. And for all of the parents, all of the adults like me, we have a little kid screaming inside of us and this movie is just going to bring that out. I really do believe that. Anyway guys, thank you guys for watching and I'm out. Bye.